All right, guys, we're on our way to uh, basically go pick up what I think is going to be my first set of wheels for the FRS. Yes, I do know that I have owned the FRS for quite a minute. I've always been saying that I wanted to run wheels, right? But I, I just never got around to do it. Uh, now I'm on my way to potentially go look at some wheels. I'm not going to tell you guys until I basically see my person. If the deal falls through, I'll go ahead and buy them. But uh, if not, I'm going to have to and uh, keep looking. But I'm meeting up this guy at this gas station. Kind of sketchy, but we'll see. I'll show you guys if the deal does go through. This is kind of a good combo though. It's, he's giving me wheels and tires already like with the wheels that are worth around the same price. I'm basically getting free tires. That's what I'm trying to get to. So. Yeah, see you guys there. Sheesh. All right, we got these TE37 SLs. I did end up going with them. And uh, they look pretty badass, dude. I'm excited to see how these look on the FRS. Let's go home and let's mount these on. I also have some other stuff to do, but... Um... All right, let's go home. See how these look on the FRS. Yo, I'm looking so stoked for this. Let's get it. Um, I'm gonna need to go get an alignment too because I'm pretty sure my alignment is just destroyed on my uh, FRS. I'll show you guys the tread, the, you know, the tread on my tires right now. It's terrible. Low key, I did need these wheels and tires. I didn't just, you know, just buy new wheels because I wanted to. I got the wheels built in with this deal. So W for me. So I guess let's head back home. Do need a little bit of washing, but as y'all can see, the real legit 18 by nine and a half and a plus 40 offset. Let's see how these fit on my car. I just test fitted them and it looks like I'm gonna have to lift up my coilovers and I haven't done that in years. Oh man, that's gonna suck. Like my car kind of is sitting kind of low. We'll see how, how that goes, but. Okay, I also need to change the fender liner for the right side of the car, so I'll probably knock that out in a little bit too. Um, as you guys may or may not have seen last week's video, I took off the bumper. But some plastic clips didn't really want to work again because they do get frail and over time they just turn crappy. And I was driving, I think like on Wednesday, and I just felt like something was just scraping like this on the floor. And it was this little thing. Apparently these clips weren't holding this side of the fender liner and uh, I guess it just ate it off so I'm gonna replace that on that side I also recommend you guys if you guys don't have one of these and you have a Subaru or uh, a car that has a bunch of stupid things get yourself one of these kits like I got this from uh, Amazon and it's just like all the clips that you would probably need for these cars they just throw them all in here so I'm going to use these for the underside of the car it's waterproof and splash proof or whatever yeah a bunch of these little rivets hopefully fender liner doesn't you know fly off and i also need to adjust the coilovers and i need to get an alignment it's all bad not really all bad but let's get to work It's been a minute since I've actually raised my coilovers up and I know people I know people put blankets on the coils I don't I haven't done that it's, I'm kind of an irresponsible idiot here we are I'm going to probably need to go get some PV blaster and 
try to loosen up the coils or clean them up right now and maybe they'll be nice to me i don't know it's been two years since i've probably worked on them so and we'll check the clearance out as it stands honestly i don't think i think i might need to raise it like half an inch or so because if i were to do it right there it would be hitting the fender massively hitting the fender so oh gosh that would suck i need to bring my measuring tape first and then i'll measure where we're at right now and where i would like it to be at okay so right now from the floor we're sitting at about 24 and three quarters that's where i'm at right now and i would like it to be at least i think i might just raise it to at least so I, I wanted to go here to 25 so let's try it out right now let's lift this thing up and get some pv blaster it's gonna be a fun time Right here is where I'm going to have to most likely struggle. I need to get this collar off and then spin right here a couple couple ways down. I don't know if I should wash. I might. Ew. Yeah, I'm going to wash these. Hold on. Let me hit them with something. Some cleaner. It's actually, the coils aren't rusted. Surprisingly. I brought these back to life already. Okay, well, that's cool. Okay, that's locked into place. Let me just bring the original wheel. Let's just retest the fitment. We were at 26 and one half. Now, I think that's what I wanted. So, so, should be fine. Let's run the TEs now, see how, how they look. Oh goodness. Feeling kind of tired already. I like Texas because Texas doesn't get rusty and I keep my car mostly inside. I think that sits fine. How sits right there? That looks kind of good to me. It could go lower, honestly, but dude, I don't know. I think I might be pushing it a bit too much if I do that. I could, I could like put them in with a little bit of camber. I'll do that in a little bit, but as it sits right here. It looks cool. It looks good. So, yeah, let's finish this up and on to the other side. All right, so this next one, same way. Um, damn, is my wheel straight? It's all crooked, what the... But yeah, look, I'm gonna show you guys. This fender liner is already chewed up, bro. Oh my goodness. There we go. I think this... Oh gosh. I think this wheel was one that was starting to go out. Not really go out, but look. It's already kind of... Alignment. I mean, I'm going to go get it aligned afterwards. So look, look at this fender liner. The fender liner is like completely chewed up. I don't know how this happens, but I guess, dude, it's gone. Look, it got eaten out completely. This is what happens when you don't add the proper clips. So let's make sure that doesn't happen this time. Let's go. drops a bunch of brake to such as realize that like, oh geez okay first i kind of want to clean this up that's kind of gross i need to add some sort of like baggie to protect this whole coil they do go through a bit of wear and tear streets are kind of terrible out here which is why i was kind of hesitant on getting to eat but at the same time you know, Hot Boy Summer is around the corner. So, all right, let's test this out. There, it's two inches. And what was it? It was two and a half, apparently. These 
are kind of interesting because it has like a little lock. These are some nice Japanese. I don't know. I bought these like, I think like four years ago. It's kind of crazy. I just never used them. But look, they have a nice little design. Has its own little lock. I think it's like an 18 mil. And then this one it just has a special key for it. It's kind of badass. I like it. I just can't believe that it took me so long to finally install these. Like I'm actually doing it today. It's kind of wild. Everything in life, it comes with time. You know, me, it actually took me quite a, quite a while. It took me a while to get these wheels. But just like everything in life, with patience and determination, you'll get it done. You'll, you'll get what you desire. Like I, I actually never saw myself actually put on some TE 37s on car. I never thought I'd be able to do this. Yeah, man. Persevere in life and you stay true to your purpose. I know it's not that deep. I'm installing some wheels on, 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 on my car, but you know, not that deep, bro. I understand. But to me, it's very symbolic to do this because I thought uh, from the start that I was not really ever going to modify my car or add some nice wheels to it but i got to a point where i actually could afford these things and i couldn't pass up on this deal so shout out to uh, my guy that sold me the, these wheels man they're in such a good condition i thought they were going to be in a worse beat up condition but no they even came with some wheels so that's amazing so yeah man stay persistent stay hungry stay focused guys and you know you'll get there too Everyone does, guys. Put the lock on and lock this in. Yo, boys, it's actually 20. Y'all wouldn't believe me if I, if I showed you this. That's kind of crazy. Excuse the handwriting, right? But the front with the wheel installed is 25 and one quarter. And the front passenger with the wheel installed is 25 and one quarter. And I literally just, just measured right now. Top to bottom. So bottom of the wheel in the middle to the top. And it's 25 and one quarter. Oh, do you guys see? 25 and one quarter, boys. So that's great. I guess we won't have to raise it on this side. Let's take a look at the other side. It's 25 and one quarter as well with everything set and adjusted. So yeah, it looks like we aren't going to mess with the spanners on this side, which is kind of interesting because I thought I was going to actually mess with them. But so if you guys don't know, to raise these cars up, I usually jack my car by the diff. I don't know if that's healthy for it, but the diff is usually a good spot to jack this car up from. I don't have a lift or have really anything that could uh, help me lift this thing up. So it's always a good spot. Okay, so as I don't have, as these TEs don't have any caps as you can see i am going to clean this thing out so rust it out and it's because this is going to be exposed and honestly i'm not really liking that so i need to get a brush or something and then i'm gonna hit it with some spray paint i'll let you know when it's finished there she is i brought her back to life you can finally see the bc is <laughs> The BC is back in. <laughs> it's still shiny though, believe it or not. It looks kind of not, it looks new. It looks kind of nice. Huh. Okay. Now, you just need to wait for this to dry up. And when we put it in, it's going to be black. So, uh, we're almost done. I don't know if there's any alignment shop open right now. I'm going to take it to Firestone. I don't know if Firestone's even. And if they would even want to take my car in because it has coilovers. You know how they are sometimes at some shops. Um... Uh, yeah, we're just going to try to hurry, make our way over there, see what they tell us, get this car aligned, and uh, be on our way. Let's just wait for this to dry, I guess, and then slap on <laughs> the new coil.
I mean the new wheel. It's the last one. We're almost done. I want to see how this fitment actually looks. It has to look so fire. I don't know if I'm going to have to run some control arms from War Control Arms. These are the stock ones. But if I do need to run the, the, some new ones, then so be it. But I don't know. I haven't seen many people talk about that. So man, I didn't. I forgot to ask the guy that had the wheels before me if he had to, you know, run a control arm, which I'm pretty sure he did. But you see me, I'm going to YOLO it. And whatever happens, happens. So yeah, this thing should be dry. Let's put the final and last wheel in install it and we'll be on our way guys yo guys guys all i gotta say is holy shit. does the side look so nice on this yo i'm stoked these ended up looking so nice on here and i thought the the brakes were gonna be a bit too small but no you can't really tell, but you could tell like it, it would compliment if you had a break, big break kit right here. It'd be a huge compliment, but man, I'm so happy with how this turned out. I'm going to go wash this, but I still need to go do the alignment. I wonder if, I think fire still might be open. I wonder if they're going to take me in. I'm kind of dirty, so I'm going to take, you know, wash it real quick and then head over there. Let's see what they tell me. So, uh, yeah, see you guys there. I'm actually surprised at the check. Uh, tire light still doesn't come on. I don't know if it's gonna come on. If it doesn't come on, it's gonna be so good. And I really like uh, a clear dash. I, I just don't like not look. You know, I don't like looking at at lights on my dashboard. But uh, we're almost here. I'm gonna go see if this Firestone up the road they would wanna align my car. If not, I'll wait until uh, the shop that I go to opens, which will be on Monday. So, uh, yeah, let's go see what they tell me. So, first of all, I'm not complaining. I know it's my fault. Hold on, let me turn it down. First of all, I'm not complaining, guys. Um, I, I knew that I was going to be late because, I mean, I had to, like, uh, basically, like, tune the car and dial in the camber so I could get an alignment and then do the fender liner as well. But it, it unfortunately took quite a while. And I went to three alignment shop, not alignment shops, uh, the real alignment shops, they always close early, like at two or three o'clock. Uh, the place that I always go to is a Toyota dealership in uh, Dallas. And I know somebody that works there. I mean, I'm not gonna ask him for a favor right now. Plus, I don't know if he's at the shop anyways. So uh, I went to Firestone first spot. He told me no. And then I went to, well, I went to two different Firestones and both of them said they couldn't help me with an alignment. I understand it's Saturday. People want to do, you know, get out of work. But uh, I don't have an alignment on this car. It's fine. No big deal. The car drives fair. It drives straight still. It's just the camber and I want to get the toe and the caster dialed in. But it seems like I'm not going to be doing that until probably Monday. I'll do it or maybe tomorrow if I wake up early and trust an alignment shop that I've never been to. That's also the thing. Like, I don't trust that Firestone either. Uh, if they would have taken me, then cool. They would have had my money and they probably would have gotten my business. That's fine. Uh, that's not going to ruin my day. I'm going to wash my car, gonna detail it, and make it look nice because we have fresh TEs on. Like, imagine me not making it look nice. This car looks so badass, guys. I swear. It's, it goes to show you, man. Um, it's going to sound kind of outrageous, but I never really thought. I think I said it earlier in the video. I never really thought that I would ever put T37s on my car. I mean, it's a nice Japanese iconic wheel. You know what I mean? When people think of JDM, they usually think of a TE. And I don't know, man. It just makes me kind of reminisce about the days where I was like, man, that wheel is so badass. And I finally have one on my car. That's kind of cool. It looks so badass. I can't wait to get some rollers. I don't know if I might get some tonight due to my alignment situation. But it shouldn't really matter. The alignment won't stop me from getting the rollers, I guarantee y'all. Um, follow me on Instagram, guys. I'll put it up on the screen right here. Uh, follow me there. I post rollers and reels and stuff, behind the scenes stuff about what I'm doing and what I'm going to continue to be doing. So, uh, yeah. Let me go wash my car and see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, I, can re hopefully I record a segment. If I don't, then I'm an L camera, man. I do need to hurry up. I don't have that many quarters. 
Sheesh! I told y'all, this looks so badass. Plus with the black hub, it looks nice in person. And the slotted rotors, you can see the slotted rotors, but they're kind of small though. These wheels are so goaded, but the only thing is they're gonna get dirty from the brake dust. But it's alright, it's a daily. Uh, I might ceramic coat these actually. I'll show you guys how to ceramic coat your wheels. Because already off the rip, guys, things could get dirty very quickly. It is a white wheel, but it's fine. So uh, I don't know. I might go ahead and do some rollers tonight. I'm not too sure. But if I do do some, stay posted on my IG. I don't know if I'm going to do them or not. So, uh, yeah. If I don't do them, I'll just wrap it up right here. I'll do them some other time. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, quick rant. It's not so much about getting wheels. It's about what you could achieve. So whatever dream you have guys keep going for it striving for better because at the end of the day you are capable of it and there's a reason why things in this world are limiting a lot of people from doing things it's just because at the end of the day guys it's not just about cars or wheels or you know whatever you set your mind to man in my case i set my own mind to getting these wheels and i did get them it just goes to show man your thoughts are very powerful and your mind is powerful. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. With that being said, guys, that's it for today's video. Stay safe, live your best life, guys, and see you guys later. Peace out.